The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is one of the most important stabilizing ligaments in your knee joint. So this is what your knee joint looks like with all the skin and muscles removed. This is the thigh bone or femur, and this is the shin bone or tibia. Most people realize that the knee joint moves back and forward like this, but it's not just a hinge joint. It also rotates or pivots like this. The knee is the largest and most complex joint in your entire body. In fact, today we are still learning more and more about how complex this incredible joint is and the different ways it moves as you perform various activities. The ligaments inside and outside the knee joint play an important role in preventing it moving too far in any one direction. And this keeps your knee stable and stops it giving way. This is the ACL here, going from the top of your shin bone and up into your thigh bone. When you look inside a knee joint, the ACL looks like a white shiny rope that is connecting the two bones together. It's also tightly tensioned to keep the knee stable. The ACL's main job is to stop your knee over rotating or over pivoting. This is especially important when you are moving from side to side or changing direction quickly. It also plays a role in preventing your shin bone moving too far forward. These are exactly the types of movements you would perform regularly in a variety of sports, especially if you were trying to dodge around an opponent in say a soccer, football or rugby match. The ACL also prevents over rotation when you are landing, say after jumping up to catch the ball in netball or basketball and then coming back down and planting your foot on the ground. There are other ligaments in and around the knee joint and they prevent your knee moving too far in other directions. However, what most people don't know is that ligaments are really the last line of defense in your knee giving way. The muscles in your entire lower limb are far more important in stabilizing your knee joint. These muscles in your hip, buttocks, thigh and calf all work together to move and stabilize your knee as you perform various activities. Now you can imagine how complex this process is with all these muscles working together without you even having to think about it. Subconsciously your brain is switching various muscles on and off and adjusting how hard they are working to help you perform very complex and sudden movements. Most ACL injuries are non-contact which means you don't usually collide with an opponent or receive a knock to your knee. It simply gives way without warning. The main reason this happens is that for a split second there is a lack of muscular coordination and additional force is placed through your knee joint. With the muscles momentarily failing to do their job, the ACL is asked to resist more force than it can deal with, and it ruptures. We call this a pivot shift injury and it looks a bit like this. You can see how the knee is over rotating and the ACL is being stretched until it finally ruptures. Your ACL can also rupture due to a direct blow or collision, but this occurs less commonly than non-contact injuries. In my practice I do see and treat ACL injuries amongst elite athletes in the AFL, AFLW and the NBL. However, the bulk of my patients with ACL injuries are what I would call weekend warriors regular, everyday people that enjoy getting out and playing some sport on the weekends or just keeping fit and active. Because I perform a high volume of ACL surgery, I keep appointments free and available every day only for patients with ACL injuries. So if you would like to be seen quickly, I can usually accommodate that within a few days. If you do have further questions or you'd like to make an appointment, please give me a call in my rooms at any time.